Uh, evening guys, welcome to Football Brownie. I uh, hope you're all well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading a love during this pandemic because we all need a little bit of loving. Anyway, that's a bit random, I do apologise, okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in a better mood uh, uh, today for a variety of reasons. Uh, I've, 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 I've had it tough the last few days and it's quite, it's quite easy to put on a mask in front of your mobile phone. But anyway, before I go any further, uh, can you please like, share and importantly, subscribe to the channel. I was looking at the, the channel's analytics earlier on and the channel is starting to gather constant daily growth now. Okay, it's small, don't get me wrong, but it's day, definitely day, a trend of daily growth both on the subscriber front and the watch hour front as more and more football fans from a variety of different clubs I started a year about the online community in which I'm trying to build. So while I mention that, please check out the Football with Brownie Facebook page as well. And, uh, you know, see if uh, that content also puts a smile on your face. Okay, for this week's journey down memory lane, I want to take you guys back to the 1985-86 season. Where it was Everton's only ever European triumph to date. By the time Everton got to this European final, which was the Cup Winners' Cup final at the time, they'd already won the league by 13 points ahead of second place Liverpool. And it, they should have won, and in my opinion would have won, the FA Cup final against Manchester United had the game at Wembley not uh, been, had the game at Wembley not been played three days after this final in Rotterdam. There was no way in modern day you would have a European final, a team playing in a European final, and then playing an FA Cup final three days later. No way. Absolute no way. Um, but the F that was the rules, that's what the, the FA ruling was, so they had to do it. Unfortunately, Man United won, or unfortunately for Everton fans, sorry, Man United won that, uh, that final 1-0, uh, into extra, game which went into extra time as well. Right, so they won the league, they won the European Cup Winners' Cup, and you, you see how they won it uh, in a, in a few moments, but unfortunately, with the High School Stadium ha uh, disaster happening just a few weeks later, the resulting European ban stopped Everton in becoming a real force in, in the European Cup the following year. Many people still to this day, and they're not just Evertonians, firmly believe that Everton would have been European champions the following year. Because we're just even going on a dominant, uh, domination, basically, of English clubs within, uh, in Europe at that time. They really did have a fantastic team. Okay, this is a video of all the goals uh, which took Everton through to that European Cup Winners' Cup triumph. I hope you enjoy Please uh, send in suggestions, what, uh, because, uh, you know, let me know which, whichever uh, historic moments and football nostalgia I should, uh, I should highlight on this channel. Okay, enjoy, have a good day, take care of each other.
Andy Green there. That's the goal. And if the photographer will just move just a moment for Kevin Sheedy, there's the cross coming in, and it went all the way. And it's in there. And it's Trevor Stephen. And it's the second for Everton. Well, the defence allowed that to go all the way through. Oh, here's a chance for Crinkle. Crinkle! It's amazing what certain decisions can do in football. That looked offside from where I was sitting. Everton scored a goal that didn't look offside. Now here's Sheedy. Well, there's the answer! Just a moment, that faithful left foot of Kevin Sheedy has put paper for those. And the Everton fans, 20,000 of them and more in the stadium in Rotterdam. A joyous night for them, and certainly their team has done British football proud as Kevin Ratcliffe raises the European Cup with his cup. They just had that minor scare, five minutes or so from the end when Crankle scored his goal lead was whittled to 2-1 but Sheedy's immediate response put Everton back into great heart and made sure of a night that they never really ever looked like losing